Hello everybody, I am Half Tangible. Let's play Warcraft 3, Reign of Chaos, and we are on the Night Elf campaign. Eternity's End. Chapter 1, Enemies at the Gate. Oh, I am so excited for this. Night Elves are the best faction in this game. In my opinion. Well, okay, not the best, but they're my favorites. You know what I mean. Chapter 1, Enemies at the Gate. With the heroic sacrifice of Grom Hellscream, the Pit Lord Manoroth was slain, and the demon curse that had plagued the orcs was put to an end. However, the combined human and orc forces have moved deeper into Ashenvale Forest to ascertain whether a demonic threat still lingers in the land. <coughs> Sorry. Tyrande Whisperwind, the leader of the Night Elf Sentinels, believes that the Outlanders will bring only doomed to en her enchanted homeland. Here we go. Hi, Tyrande. Nothing really to say right now. Pardon, Priestess, but you've been staring out across Ashenvale for hours. It's kind of weird. I sense something dark stirring within the forest, Chandras. It feels as if it's heading this way. The Greenskins who killed Cenarius? Perhaps. Perhaps something more. Chandras is going to look completely different when she shows up again later in the campaign. Uh, spoilers. So you were worried about this before, but you're only now checking on it? Put your backs into it! Jaina and the Orc War Chief expect this base to be built swiftly. Ah, we shouldn't even be here. No siding with the Orcs. We're here to hunt the remaining demons, human. You're lucky our goals are the same. All right, you men. Mind your business. Back to work. So, these Orcs and humans presume to run rampant through our lands? They don't they know it's your hands. regret ever stepping foot into Ashenvale. We will establish a base and deal with these outlanders as they deserve. And of course you're going to be able to build it faster than they are because... I don't know, plot armor. I mean, theirs is already established. And, oh boy. Here we go. Now, when does she start talking? The Tree of Life is the heart of our Night Elf villages. Use the tree's ability to entangle the gold mine. After entangling the mine, send wisps in to extract gold. So remember when I said that every faction has their own unique thing for their base? Their own way to defend it and such? Yeah. Almost all of the Night Elf buildings, with the exception of Moonwells and Hunter's Halls, are giant trees that can walk around and beat things up. It is the best thing ever. And then the Tree of Life is their main town hall place thing. You, you know what I'm talking about. Wisps are friendly and spirits that harvest gold and lumber for our villages. They also create the structures that allow us to train more warriors. Now wisps are the workers for the Night Elf faction. When they create, gold. when they create one of the ancients of, gold. when they create one of the ancients, that's the living tree things, they die. But it also leaves a walking, biting tree in its place. So, you know, it's a good trade. Night elves don't cut down trees to harvest lumber. They have whiffs rotate around them like this, and then they get five every so often. Ashrathoraman, waiting on you. The goddess calls. Well, of course you pick Scout first, Tyrande. So be it. Alright. Now, Tyrande is one of the Night Elf heroes, as you as can tell, the, the Priestess speaks. of the Moon. Now, the, f now, the first thing they get is, is a Scout. Well, the first ability that we're going to talk about, yeah, that works, is Scout, which summons an owl that lasts for a while. And it can... It improves as it levels up. And frame rate is dropping. I completely forgot to clear out my hard drive before I did this, didn't I? 
Uh, hang on, I'm gonna check. I'll be right back. Okay, so yeah, I forgot to clear it out a bit. Should be good now. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is the Owl Scout. Summons... The Summon Scout can detect invisible units or be used to scout an enemy base. As you can see, it's invulnerable, which I just took to mean that they don't attack it. But your opponents can see it. Which doesn't really matter much here, because... I heed the voice of Elun. I was gonna say because there are computers, and in this game, computers are kinda dumb. But why are you just have a war mill here? Silly orcs. Okay. Ashrathoraman. Now that's their first one. Their second. Actually, let's put the wisp in here first. It needs some. The sometime. moon wells are the source of our nourishment and strength. You can build additional moon wells to nourish more troops. I heed the voice of Elun. Who are you supposed to be talking to, Taronda? I mean, you're the one in charge of this place. Okay. So, as I was saying, second ability, Searing Arrows. Now, this is an auto-cast ability that drains your mana, but adds extra damage to your attacks. As you can see, in the bottom right, I can't move the hand over it. Want to. Darn it. Anyway, it does 10, 20, and 30 Training damage. With... Troops. Construct an ancient of war. I know, Taronda. Give me a minute. And then the, her third ability is True Shot Aura, which gives extra damage to all, to As every ranged unit. Is. And so at good. night, most of your Night Elf units can Shadow Meld, which means they become invisible when they hold right still. Away. As you can imagine, that can be very useful for ambushes. Now, let's get a Moonwell up. Let's actually get some units made here. More Alter. lumber is required. Ah, right. We need wood. I can hear you laughing. Shut up. Uh... How did I hear you laughing? Stop making bad jokes. Just play the game. As the goddess wills. All right. And this is the archer. Now, most of the factions in this game. Building is complete. Actually, all of the other factions in this game. Their most basic unit is a melee a fighter. The night elf's most basic unit is a far-ranged archer. Range 500. I think that was a bit farther than the rifleman. Or the troll headhunters? No, no. Troll headhunters had 550, I think. On your mark. So oh, yeah, they've got a pretty far range. Fair enough. Say no more. And then moon oh, wells only regenerate mana at night, but they can heal your units. Went the way. All too easy. As you can see. Ancient of War. Altar of Elders. I think you know what that does by now. We've seen enough altars. And now we have the Ancient of War, which is their basic barracks. But this mission is really, really easy. I don't know why I'm taking my time. More lumber is required. If I wanted to be really silly, I could just build ancients and send them to fight. Someone threatens the wilds. Waiting on I you. heed the voice of Elune. But seriously, Night Elves are my favorite faction in this game. Their buildings can punch you. More lumber is required. More lumber is required. And I could say more about that, but I don't think much more needs to be said. Their buildings can punch you. And walk. More lumber is required. Your building is complete. We can't build there. Someone 
someone threatens the wild. Now, the Night Elves' mm. history is actually pretty well tied in with this war with against the demons, but I'm not sure how much they reveal of it in the actual story campaign. Actually, yeah, I know they reveal most of the backstory during this thing. So, I'm going to avoid talking too much about it up until this point. What you need to know right now is that Taronda Whisperwind here is in charge of pretty much every defense that this place has right now. That Ashenvale Forest has right now. Create more moons. I get it. Is I'm I stand make ready. Wells. Insufficient gold. Also, they're the only faction whose abilities only. Whose abilities are best at night. I stand as ready. the goddess wills. Whereas everybody else can see farther during the day. By and most of their abilities aren't affected by the time of day, actually. The goddess calls. Now wisps can harvest lumber pretty much anywhere. Which means you can use them to scout and harvest lumber. And most of the time when you're playing against players, they won't notice the Wisps because they're just kind of out of the way. And since they can harvest lumber anywhere, Your there's very little reason not to. And this mission looks really silly after a while. I heed the voice of Elun. Because the only unit you can make are By the only Elune. units you can make are archers. So be it. So immediately. Hmm. So be it. I stand ready. Asher Thoraman. I stand ready. Immediately. Hello, archers. Someone threatens the wild. So the only units you can make are archers, so it looks like Taronda is going with the least effective so method possible of killing I these things, of killing these guys. The On your mark. Which is kind of funny because... No, select. I the voice of Control group one. So be it. Point the way. You go back. Done. Because you smell. Wills. By Elun. And it looks really the silly because wins. these are all your basic troops I and mean. you're attacking two bases that so are fortified and immediately. Well, one base that is composed I of two mean. different factions that have fortified and prepared. And hello, human expedition. Waiting on you. I hear the voice of the In the name of Sanarius. I mean, on the one hand I it mean. works, on the other hand, this I is the least goddess effective goddess. method you could have chosen. Go back to the Fountain of Health. Ashrathoraman. So be it. Immediately. Anudora! I mean, seriously, you're not even gonna bring in a ballista? Or whatever they're called? Your siege engines? Waiting on you. Maybe some huntresses. Dryads, maybe. Someone threatens the wild. Point the way. Say no more. So yeah, Moonwells can heal your units, which means night elves pretty much always have access to healing. But it's always back at the base, too, so you can attack and pull back. A 
moon wells regenerate mana only at night. I said that already. Okay. I'm running out of things to talk about now. Did I miss anything? Let's bring the ancient along, just for fun. Your oh yeah, and ancients can also eat trees to heal themselves. Yay for repair, that's free! On your mark. Well, I guess that does make the ancients cannibals. So be it. And we can get a second tree of life over here, just for funsies. Ashra Thoraman, by Elun, as the goddess wills. So be it. Stop that. By Elun, immediately. By Elun, stop that. By Elun. Yes, that's what I said. As the goddess wills. In the name of Scenarius. Anudora. A Kalimdor. Your building is waiting on me. Or the way. Fair enough. Be a moon. I heed the voice of a loon. Ashra Thoran. I know you don't take the humans seriously, Taranda, but come on. Immediately. Yeah, there's a little bases. Mini bases like this all over the map. Thing. I the voice of so be it. Thing you really need to do is kill the paladin. By Immediately. But I really want to so explore it. right now. As the goddess wills. Ocalamdor. And now we have True Shot Aura, which means these guys are all doing extra damage. And pretty much every unit in the Night Elf arsenal, or whatever, is ranged with, I think, one exception in this game. I think there's two in the next one. And even that one can get range later. But in the name of scenarios. So yeah, the Priestess of the Moon is really I useful. By she makes everyone around her stronger. She can set her own arrows on fire to make herself stronger. So be it. Your building is complete. By Elune. And no fur bogs. The goddess calls. Why aren't there any fur bogs on this map? I like the fur bogs. Come on, Our attack! Have the I heed the voice. Oh really? <laughs> we attack at dawn. In the name of Scenarius. For some reason. Bandu Thoribas mortals, you will pay for defiling these lands. Anudora! You know, you could have just said, hey, this is our town, okay, back off. Or something. No, you gotta go straight to the psychotic oh, murder. Oh, okay, that's not fair. Seriously. That'd be a better solution than this. Anudora. In the name of Scenarius. Anudora. I hate the voice. Okay, so I can either have him fight or plonk him down right here and start producing more archers. More archers it is. Oh my god. The goddess calls. Five in Taronda right now. Waiting on you. 
Oh dear. That's not good. So be it. As the goddess wills. Immediately. Okay, Ancient of War, get back. You're dying. Funsies was a bad idea. Funsies was a bad idea. Okay. I underestimated this level. Wasted a lot of time right now. Ashrathoraman. Point the way. Say no more. Fair enough. One shot. I hear the voice of a woman. The goddess calls. Oh, Kalamdor, waiting on you. I heed the voice of a woman. Point the way. Your move done. The goddess calls. And this is why it's kind of silly that she just waiting goes in with archers. Archers are really weak. The goddess calls. Ashrathorama. So be it. Immediately. Your building is to someone threatens the wilds. No move. Our sacred grove is being desecrated. Okay, tree, beat him up. This is not a good first impression. As the goddess wills. Good thing they had a first impression against Grom already. Okay, eat that tree and then entangle that gold mine. Building is complete. On your mark. And there we go again. Excuse me one moment. I stand ready. Okay, here we are. Everyone to the fountain of life. Insufficient gold. Ah, uh, joy. I stand ready. Oh, I'm gonna have to restart again, aren't I? Your building is waiting complete. on you. I stand ready. Say no more. Your move. Someone threatens the wild. I stand ready. There, we'll have very quick access to health. I stand ready. Oh, good. Things Asher settled down. Thoraman. Our gold mine is running mark, low. Waiting on you. Oh, of course, it's running low. Calls. As the goddess wills. Immediately. As the goddess wills. Oh, and injured units can also shadow melt in the middle of a fight. On your mark. Gets pressure off of them. Like so. Done. And then, 
Ashra Thorama. So be it. Waiting on you. And then that means they live, so they can go Soon back. More. On your mark. All too easy. Your Control group two. Your move. Your building Point is the way. Actually, drink Soon out of the moon well. I heed the voice of Illumina. As the goddess wills. Our warriors have Fair engaged enough. the enemy. <laughs> Try to make that one hide. Wait. The goddess calls. Anudora. Okalamdo. Find your mark. Don't move. Get away. Cry. Find your mark. Okay, second group, go in. Hurry it up. Okay. All of you, fall back. Moonwells. On your mark. I'll give it a shot. Wait, no. Autocast. Autocast. Heal them up. Warriors have engaged the enemy. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Someone tightens the wire. Okay. Right down to Ironheart. Come on. By the light of the moon. Fire. Someone tightens the wire. Hindu mm. Earth Gold Mine has come Pretty sure killing the Paladin is the first sign that you're not the good guy. Ah, uh, whatever. I think those were what the Pandaren used to look like. <laughs> oh dear. Not impressed! I can do that too! That, however... It's the undead! Defend yourselves! They must have followed us from Lordaeron. Insects. The dead advance in waves. Quickly, my sisters. Back to the trees. We are no match for a force this fast. Tyrande Whisperwind. Not a complete idiot. Anyway, that was the first mission. And that is a demon hunter. We will get to them later. Anyway, this is Half Tangible signing off. Thanks for watching. Next time we go to Chapter 2, Daughters of the Moon.